Hello and welcome to Totally Not Being a Mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying my hair. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's do it. And I'm half naked. <laughs> well, 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 it feels like a hot minute since I have put my camera on. Slash you guys on tripod. As I already mentioned, today I am dying my hair. But not just that, I kind of just wanted to have a bit of a chat with you guys. Just, I don't know. Talk about the things, the stuff, what's been going on. I have really and quite obviously not been very present on YouTube lately. Yes, I still have been posting my videos every week, but have I been watching like other people's content or any content? <laughs> Um, have I been replying to comments? No. I'm doing a pretty bad job at keeping up with everything at the moment and I guess we will kind of get into why, what's new, what's been happening. I know that it's probably a bad idea to have a chatty video in a bathroom because obviously it is rather echoey but there's not a lot I can do about that. It's just what's happening and we're just going to get on with it. Today we are doing Brilliance permanent hair colour. I usually pick Brilliance. I don't know why. I don't know if it's better than others. It's always just reasonable price, I guess. I can't remember how much these were. They were from Chemist Warehouse. We're going Hypnotic Red, number 37. So, this is what we're working with. I don't know which way I should be holding this to honest. This is what we're working with. But, um, yeah. So, let's get going. Do the things, do the stuff, dye the hair, talk the Bobbies. I have a feeling I need to close the toilet lid because it would be really bad if I were to drop stuff in the toilet. Speaking of which, actually the other day I was refilling the toilet roll holder and I accidentally dropped an entire roll into the toilet. So how's that for looking after resources during COVID times? I did my first assignment for uni, got that done. Second one is due Wednesday the something of May the 4th, maybe, whenever the Wednesday is around the 4th. And I don't know, it's an essay, I'm kind of struggling, I can't really like get my head wrapped around it for some reason. Like I've already started taking quite a few notes. Usually my process when I do assignments is that I just like make a ton of notes on um, a Word document or pasting a bunch of like references and stuff and it's just going to be this big chaotic document of things and ideas until it all actually somehow comes together into an essay. That's kind of started but I just, I don't know, I haven't written an essay for uni in a long time. I was really good at writing essays in high school but I never really got the hang of it in uni. Like I always got a pass mark. Was it like a reasonable mark, just not a great mark. And this is where I kind of want to do better and get better. I got my first assignment back, which was a nice solid 83%, which is something I'm happy with. I'm happy with 83%. I'm cool with that. I feel like I was really confident coming out of high school on my essay skills. And then I did my first uni essay and more uni essays. And then I was just like, yeah, I really don't have the hang of this the way that I thought I did, at least not to a university standard. I'm just going to do my best, you know. Um, I probably make a decent start this weekend. It's a long weekend here in Australia for Anzac Day. Yeah, so I've got to get a decent start on that essay before it's due in a week and a half. I don't know, I keep saying get a start, but I have technically started. I've technically started writing stuff, but it's nothing concrete or solid or anything to do with the actual final essay. In case anyone was curious, I actually have to write about um, how some kind of like web 2.0, which is not going to mean anything to probably most people, but web 2.0 platform um, encourages people to communicate and collaborate with each other. And conveniently enough, I'm actually going to write an essay about YouTube. So how YouTube encourages us to communicate and collaborate, which, you know, I feel like the yeah, answer is pretty obvious, but the format for making it like not just blabbering on about the obvious stuff and making it actually kind of professional and you know university standard is a whole different kind of thing um but yeah i don't know i'll figure it out i always do figure these things out but that's one thing that has kind of been stopping me from being my best self in terms of youtube um otherwise i'd say 
The other thing that has been consuming my brain is to do with cat stuff. Now, I've mentioned probably multiple times to you guys that Brady and I are looking into getting a house. Um, I don't know, a lot of people probably be like, you don't really mention this kind of thing until you get your like approval and stuff, your finance approval, but we put an offer around on the house, it's been accepted, so that's been all very exciting. But it's also been consuming my brain like crazy because obviously we have to get finance approved, we have to deal with the settlement, which is a lot easier than for most people considering that in case you didn't know or you forgot, I work for a settlement agency, so good for me. But yeah, figuring stuff out, making sure we have the right deposit amount and all of that stuff and not spending money. It's hard. It's really hard. And then on top of that, yes, it keeps going. I injured my back. Literally doing the most marginal thing you could imagine. It's going down the stairs on my way to go and play D&D at my sister's place. This was three weeks ago today now actually. Um, and Brady was in front of me going down the stairs and I decided to essentially reach forward and give his bum a pinch because as you do, he's got a nice bum, why wouldn't you give it a pinch? And my back just spasmed, hey? Like, completely spasmed and it has been, my lower back has been sore, like, I'll have like sharp pains when I move in certain ways or whatever ever since, for three weeks. So it kind of has taken my motivation completely out the window. I go to work, I sit at a desk all day, uh, by the end of the day, sitting at a desk, I feel super uncomfortable because it's just hard to get comfortable all day at the desk as it is, let alone when you have a sore back. So, yeah, those are all of my excuses as to why I haven't been the most present lately. And I guess as to why I keep making my videos very last minute, even though I was like, hey, I'm doing two videos a week now, I'll be able to put more time into them. But I'm going to be honest, that hasn't exactly happened, so you have no idea how much motivation and time it took just to actually get me up to dye my hair. I have been putting it off all day. It's probably, I think, almost, no, it's not five, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and Brady and I are going out for dinner at six. We have a 45 minute drive to get there. So, yeah, I pretty much left this to last minute. There's about an hour and a quarter until we have to leave home to go to dinner. So, yeah, it's gonna be dye my hair, have a shower, put my makeup on, dry it, and go. But yeah, I don't know. I'm really, really struggling to, I guess, like feel like myself at the moment. I'm just really stressed for obvious reasons. Like, this is a huge deal. It's a really big decision to buy a house. So it's not even just like the process itself. It's like, I suppose the weight of making a really big decision because you know, I have anxiety. So it's like, big decisions are a really, really, really big deal to me. I will overthink them to the ninth degree. So yeah, um, lots of overthinking, lots of over planning. This house that we're getting has a bit of work to do on it. So like it has floorboards that need to be done, the whole house will need to be painted. It's just like, you know, stuff. We want to make sure settlement's on time and so that we can get in there and actually get started and make it livable and then our lease ends two and a half weeks, I think after our settlement date, so two and a half weeks to do up a house and move when you work full time, it ain't a lot. Um, and on top of that, there's been a lot of life going on at the moment too. Brayden's dad's turning 70, so that's a huge deal. And I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but he is actually going to be um, singing in the band that's playing at his dad's 70th. So He's got a nephew playing the guitar, a nephew playing the bass, his brother playing the drums and Brave is singing. So he's been practicing every Thursday initially, then every Wednesday for um, probably maybe two, three months now. And then um, we have a wedding to go to in between there. So like normal life amongst buying a house <laughs> is yeah, a bit overwhelming. So, oh, hello. just. Put that all down my top. Actually, I think that just went in my head. How's 
that for luck? Um, yeah, I don't know. Trying to, I hope that makes sense. I hope that sounds justified to you guys. But yeah, um, that's probably all I really have to say at the moment. If I think of anything further, then I will say it. But otherwise, let's just do the whole hair dye thing. Come on. Well, in case it wasn't quite obvious, it is a significant amount of time later. My hair is all done. I have actually just been out to dinner and come home because I totally ran out of time to get ready. Like, we had a 45 minute drive to get to where we we're going for dinner because it's on the opposite side of Perth. Um, and that meant that by the time that I rinsed out my hair, which I forgot takes a really, really long time, especially with red hair dye, it just wants to stick in there. I did my makeup in the car on the way there. It was a really good dinner though. Um, and I guess I don't really have much else to say to you guys. I am done for the evening, for the day, for the weekend. I hope that you guys enjoyed having a little bit of a catch up that I gave you a bit of context as to why I may not have been, you know, as attentive to a lot of my like fellow YouTubers videos and stuff. I'm really sorry guys. I will play catch up eventually. Please don't hate me. <laughs> but anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Please do give it a massive thumbs up for me if you did and feel free to say hello down below. If I don't get back to you straight away, hopefully I will eventually. I usually get back to everyone at some stage, even if it is a month later, like it kind of has ended up being lately. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Angela. If you would like to join me on a more permanent basis, you can do so by hitting subscribe down below and dinging that notification bell to be told when I bring out a new video. Otherwise, it is all from me today, guys. Each and every one of you have an absolutely wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful, marvelous, spectacular day. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Love, love, love you.